This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their data tools unit. I'm on lesson 9, permanent data storage, part 5. Records are objects. What's a record? In database terminology, each term that is stored in a table is called a record. This is why the command is called create record. Makes sense? In app lab, in app lab a record is an object. That just means it's like a multi-dimensional array, kind of. It's like a biggish list. We'll explain. Um, and a table is essentially a collection of JavaScript objects stored in the cloud. The second parameter of create record is the object you are storing in the database. Yeah, so like the name, my name is what I was using, is the object I was storing in the database. As you've seen, you can specify the object using notation like yeah, so this says set name to Alice, Alice a name being the key, Alice being the value it's set to. But you can also provide an object variable, and the whole object will be stored. AppLab creates a column for each property of the object. Okay, we're going to get more into this if you're kind of confused. Starter code is provided that creates a simple JavaScript object representing a song. Drag out the create record command. Okay, whoops, create record, got it. Set the table name, the first parameter, to something like my songs. Okay, my songs it is. I'm tempted to say jams, but I'm just going to kind of do the default here. My songs. Set the second parameter to the name of the object you want to store. In this case, song. So, the name of the object you want to store. So that is the, so they don't want this. I think we're getting rid of all of this and just writing song. Let's see. Yep. All right. Song. Okay. Done. Run the program. In the data viewer, a new table was created and that the song and the song object was added to the record. Run. Okay, ran data my songs. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, and that's working because right here. So we created a song object. Remember curly brackets is a song it creates an object in data script. So we declared that. Once we declared the variable song, which is an object, we said song.title, right? So we're using dot notation. And what that means is song has a different, another variable, and song's title variable is happy birthday to you. It is a string, right? It's words. And now we wanted to also make song have another variable called seconds. So song.seconds, and all of this is part of this object, is 15. So then when we say my songs, we're creating this record and we're adding songs and then we run our function. What's going to happen is this object songs, which has the title, happy birthday to you, and seconds as part of it, is going to all be added to a table. And then within our table, we have the ID, the title, and the seconds. So it's adding all of that information it creates a column for each property of the object. Yep, and so it's adding all of that information. It has the ID of one, and then it has, right? So a column, one column, two column, and it stores it then all in the same row. That's super cool. All right, let's keep going and see what else we're going to be able to do with this.